Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you're returning. Look what we have here. Finally. <laughs> this has been sitting here for like a month. I feel so terrible. Shout out to Chelsea and 876 Nails for waiting on me. But this is my package that she sent for my brand ambassadorship. And so I'm just showing you what comes in it. And um, we're going to get into this video. So I do want to thank her for being so patient. I made a video. It got deleted. Then I had started a new job and was just so busy. And then my sister came in town for, you know, just so really impromptu. It killed a whole week of my time. So there's just been excuse after excuse. And she's been so patient. I mean, there are legit reasons. But anyway, so she's going to have be releasing a summer collection which um, I've heard her say on her channel are going to be really really bright colors currently all she has are like cover colors so this is a coupon code for you guys when that collection is released goody goody so she did send me four acrylics um, one is Gabby um, this is I'm just showing you the texture of them and I did the swatches earlier on the video that that was deleted so I didn't swatch them again I'm just gonna show you because I am I'm going to be using these products in the video, so you'll see that later. This is Kayla, the much-loved and hyped uh, flavor, so to speak. Naomi Nude. And then she sent me uh, this Coverage Nude. I think there was just a space in it. I think it's Coverage Nude. This is my favorite of all. And that she sent me in a two-ounce. And there's the colors. <clears throat> Pardon me. I also like Gabby, but it was a little sheer. For me, I, I like um, more opaque colors, but I loved all the colors. These are the tips. You guys, these are long, 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 long. So I'm just showing you that I'm going to put on some peel-on base coat. And I'm going to get these tips on, and we're going to do a really long pink and white set. <clears throat> I don't know. This allergies, you guys, this time of year. I'm so sorry for clearing my throat. Anyway, um, I am going to be using everything in this kit. The files... The, um, of course, the acrylics, the tips, the little bling, which those blings are so cute, you guys. Um, she also has them in pink. So, uh, and the monomer. So, I did have some struggles um, while using, or while applying this, but I had the struggles with the not polish and me a secret um, that I use. So I just think it was cold in my nail room. So I'll explain that as we go along. Uh, none of it were these products. I love these products. This monomer, what with the cap? Okay. Love that already. Also, this package came to me intact. It came to me quickly and none of the monomer. I couldn't even smell it through the package like usual. Of course, you guys, this is Kayla, which um, polymerizes instantly on the, not instantly, but polymerizes beautifully on the swatch which the others did not look like. They didn't get that shiny look, but they all worked like butter. They all worked really well. Um, again, I, I did switch monomer. I did add monomer enhancer. The products was sticking to my brush a lot, but so was the not polish. So it, it wasn't these products that, that, were, that were doing it. These products were buttery, and I really like them. Um, you know, you guys know I'm picky. I'm picky about acrylics, I'm picky about my brush, and I'm picky about monomer. And a lot was sticking in my brush, I'm showing you here. So throughout, you might see me cleaning my brush a lot or switching brushes. And again, that had nothing to do with her product. I, I don't know why it was doing that, because it did it to me with, with all the products. So don't uh, think that has to do with her. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to do pink and white. So I wanted, I'm just putting the white next to these nudes to see... Um, which looks better and then here I'm showing you that this this is behaving this way even with the not polish like um, Not polymerizing falling off my brush or sticking to the brush. So I'm gonna soak a brush there. And I'm gonna grab another one. I Am gonna be using Milky white as my from not polish as my uh, white and As you see the struggle is happening with with um, the other not polish powder too Oh gosh, I'm gonna forget what I'm saying already. Oh yeah, the first nude or pink that I picked to go with my pink and whites was a little too sheer and I, I kept having to pile it on to get it to cover the white. So I switched to a darker nude uh, once I got to the second nail and you'll see that. After this, I do get my practice hand 
and <clears throat> pardon me again swatch all four of the colors again like on a, a I, I on nails that I don't file so just because I wanted to play with them some more they were really buttery and I wanted to give another example because the swatches that I showed the swatch sticks you guys didn't get me get to see me to applying that and most of the application on this nail is you know the white so it, you can clearly see when I'm doing my ombre beads for the pink that they're these acrylics are, are great they're they work very very similar to Valentino or not polished to be honest they're very buttery and they just stay where you put them and I wanted to show that in a better showcase. So I do do um, one of each color on my practice hand at the end. And of course, we'll talk about that when I get there. So I, I just wanted to, again, shout out to Chelsea for waiting on me and to all of you guys who congratulated me on my brand ambassadorship and then had to wait all this time for this video. So. Yeah, it took me a while just due to outside circumstances and again I'm sorry so I hope you guys enjoy this video I tried to make it a medium length to be pleasing to everyone and I'm gonna try to talk the whole way through so that you guys can get a voiceover I definitely have some stuff to say so while we're watching this application I'm just gonna tell you I probably mentioned to you guys before about my job my last job and me getting a new job but I haven't really elaborated on that um, I've mentioned before, like, what I what I do for a living and blah, 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 like my, my job job. Um, I will interrupt myself when I start getting to applying the pink, you know, the 876 products and go back to the topic. So, I told you guys in my last video um, a little bit about myself and my work history and that, that kind of thing. And I told you I had gotten into the restaurant industry. Well, I... When I was 13 years old, that this was that was in like 1982 or 83 or something, and maybe some of you remember 1983, but probably some of you weren't even born or a lot of you. So lots of things are different. There's no computers. There's no uh, cell phones. There's no even not even any pagers or beepers. You have a landline if you want to talk to somebody. You have. Um, you need to get the phone book if you want to find the phone number to some place and you need to dial it and hope somebody answers or get a, an answering machine, you know. Um, that's just a glimpse of kind of the things that, that were going on. So getting a job wasn't the same, um, you know, a paycheck. Uh, so anyway, when I was 13 was my first job. My stepmom owned a seafood restaurant here in town and that's where my dad met her he went in to eat one night and so once they got together uh, I would always stay the summers with my dad and I started working weekends there hostessing when I was 13 <laughs> and I, she would just pay me cash so why I mentioned the other uh, part of like phones and banks and paychecks and stuff like that I didn't have a bank account so I couldn't cash a check because she would just pay me cash and uh, back then there weren't, you know, computers where people could do research or report anybody or, um, you know, take a video or a picture of someone underage working on their cell phone. And things just were not the same. They just weren't. Everybody drank and drive uh, like 100%. They were driving liquor stores all over the place. Uh, my dad always did it. I remember one of the things, because we live out, you know, in, in the desert. Tucson's much larger now, but where we lived and back then, it was common to litter it was common to go out in the desert and shoot your guns or go four-wheeling I learned how to drive my dad's four-wheel drive truck when I was eight years old and you know we would go out shooting or four-wheeling in the middle of the desert um, I'll get back to the story in a second so look at this you guys do you see the butteriness of that bead even with the struggles I was having with um, product sticking to my brush I just really believe it was the monomer now I liked her monomer it had a it smelled perfect I, I've told you guys before I love the smell of monomer so it didn't have that strange foot smell that I uh, like sweat sock um, strip mall uh, nail shop 
monomer smell. I'm sure you guys all know what I'm talking about. This had that nice sweet smell that like Young Nails Care Sky Not Polish has. It's a good monomer. It's fast setting, uh, maybe a medium setting. Uh, these products were also medium setting, which I think is why they're so buttery and they just stay right where you put them. Um, so they do bloom out and become, they do melt on the nail, but they don't run. They stay, they're just really good. You can see, really they work just like Not Polish, which is a slam dunk, especially when she starts coming out with some colors because her price point is way better. <clears throat> so I, I think she's got a hit on her hands here and I'm very happy to be a brand ambassador. And you know, that's, I was a little worried about that. Like, okay, I accepted a brand ambassador, ambassadorship, <laughs> but I haven't even tried her products yet. But then I just thought, okay, you know what? It's just going to be a really honest review. Look at this. Do you see that? That's just stayed exactly where I put it. There's no, I mean, beautiful, beautiful, like butter for real. So I switched to, to the Naomi nude here. I just need a darker color simply because I need a darker color. Not because I didn't like the other one or anything else. I just needed more coverage for the white, which by the way, I knew these were a little sheer, which is why I chose milky white instead of a white white for my, my base. Just FYI, when these dry, you are able to better see the color change, you know, um, the pink and white element of it. But do you see how these just stay there? They get a little bit of a melt to them so you can work with them, but they stay where you put them, which is, you know, they're melting like butter. Watch. See that? See how it's not running everywhere, but it's letting me work with it? That is the kind of acrylic I like. Look, look. So satisfying. Okay, so I'll go back to what I was talking about. We used to go out and four wheel and, uh, you know, my dad would just bring cases of beer. It would just be me and him. And he would get shit-faced, to be honest. He would be too drunk to drive home. So I had to learn how to drive on the freeway because getting to our house, I had to be on the freeway. Um, when He had an airplane, and we would fly in his airplane. And we would literally swoop down and, like, chase cars on the freeway. And people would be terrified. But nobody called the cops. Nobody had cell phones. Like, we, were, we would do crazy shit, honestly. And throw beer bottles out the window to try to hit road signs. I mean, it was cowboy weird stuff and nobody thought about littering. Nobody thought about drinking and driving. No one blinked twice at so many different things. I'm not advocating any of that. I look back and think, holy smokes, how did I not die? How did we not get in a wreck? How did I just so many things, but I mean, I didn't even wear shoes outside. We lived in the desert where there were rattlesnakes and Gila monsters and uh, you know, all kinds of risks and I never thought twice about it because that's how I was raised we went around barefoot in the desert cactus I used to catch snakes I mean things were just different so my point is I've been in the restaurant industry since I was a kid okay so when I need a job it's usually my comfort zone to go grab a job in the restaurant until I find something that's more money making or that feels better to me however um, the last job that I had, you know, I'm getting older. I can't be skipping around doing things. I told you guys I did go work construction for several years. Uh, I've lived in different states. I always come back to Tucson. It's my home. And, you know, I was getting older. And I did stay almost 11 years at my last job. And it was as a general manager of a restaurant, a local chain here in town who have 11 locations. Well, I was on salary as a general manager. I was working 50 to 60 hours a week, oftentimes working that many hours. You know, when you work salary, you don't make an hourly rate. You make a flat rate and divide that out by the hours you work to see what your hourly rate might be. Here's how these are looking. So pretty, so delicate and pretty. Here's the Vita Bella practice hand I'm going to be using to do that application I told you guys about. I guess I'm going to have to tell you guys in the next video the rest of my story because we're going to be on to this now. So I did have her tips on these nails, um, and I think it's important when you have a really long nail that when you clip them off that they still have a good shape. As you see, I didn't file these. I didn't file the tips, and I'm not going to file the finished product here. I'm just showing you application. Do you see how this is just staying right where I put it? You see that? Yeah, so this is strictly to show you guys
how the product works and the application of the product and what they, what they look like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get each bead settled on these nails and move on to the next nail and come back and do a second bead so that they're not so sheer, you know, like instead of doing a two bead method, I'm doing one bead two times, if that makes sense. <clears throat> do you see how that state, look at the nail, look at the middle finger. You see how that hasn't moved? That I go back to it and it's just like butter letting me just work it. I, I was actually speechless. Do you see this? So this is why I wanted to do this on my nails, on these nails, because you guys didn't get to see the swatch sticks. And honestly, the swatch sticks is only like one bead anyway that you kind of just hold onto the nail. So it's not that um, accurate either. I mean, it, it works, it does the job, but I think this is a better example. And a lot of times I want to do this when I'm swatching a color, but I just get impatient and don't want to set up the hand, which really doesn't take long either. But do you see this? How that, that just stayed there, but it's not dry. It's, it lets me work it. What, you guys? Run. Run and go go get you some of these. I mean, yeah. And, oh, she gave me a coupon code, too. I, I'm going to put it in my description box. I think it's already in my description box in my last couple of videos because I didn't want you guys to wait for the discount code. Um... I just wanted you to see it, how it polymerized. And look at it just staying on my brush. Look at it staying there. And by the way, I know you guys can see this color, but a lot of people um, really, really rave about it and love it. And I'll tell you why. Because it's a hot pink with a creaminess. So it's not a sheer, and it's not a cover. It, it is a cover, but it has that hot pink look to it. But it also has, I can't say it, like a creamy undertone. So you know you can see that even in the powder itself that it has like maybe some white or creamy white in it or something and this bead was a little dry but look it still works like butter as soon as i get a little bit of monomer into it which i guys you guys i have told you multiple times in my videos that that's what i love about not polished products you can put down a really dry bead and then it becomes workable as you start adding monomer to it with your brush same here I don't say almost ever on my channel that products are like not polished because none are. Some of my chisel colors um, behave quite similar to not polished, but as far as buying a brand from a small business owner, some are really, really good, but not polish like, no, no. So this is a hit. She has a hit on her hands. And again, you guys just use my discount code, go get some, you won't regret it. And I'm looking forward to that island collection. I can't wait to see what the colors are going to be. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> what? Uh, I didn't have to file these. And, and I don't know if you noticed, I only showed you, I'm letting it sit here on purpose just to show you guys. It's just, it's just, it doesn't move until I want it to. Um, when I did my nails, I don't know if you noticed, but I only did briefly filed the edges and buffed the top and sealed my cuticles and, and it was done. The application was so smooth and easy. just a moment of silence for how nice this is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I want to tell you guys my story, but this video is going to end. I will tell a little bit more. Okay, let's see. So I'm working at the restaurant when I was little. Right, right, right. So I go back. I'm on salary. Go, Not go back. I go back into the restaurant business and, and been doing that for the past 10 years. Work for a company that has um, 11 locations here in town. They're a shit company. Okay. I've been trying not to say that, but they're terrible. They don't care about me. They don't care about any of the employees whatsoever at all, period, period. Um, that, that was proven to me over and over and over and over and over and over again. Over the years I worked for them, I just stuck it out. I'm a really loyal, like, ride or die kind of person, like, in my gut. And I take my responsibilities very seriously. And I just kept showing up every day and just kept plugging away every day. And I got very sick with COVID around November and I caught it at work. You know, there's over 200 people walking in the door every day. Of course, I'm going to be exposed. And the reason the exposure was so large there is because unless like way at the beginning of COVID when there were mask mandates, we had to wear masks, we had to sanitize. 
Uh, people couldn't sit down in the restaurant. They had to pick up their food and go, or they could maybe sit on the patio. Like we didn't have in, in, in house dining. Their, this, our seats were closed, all that stuff. The only time that they complied with any of that was when it was state or federally mandated that we comply with it. Once those laws were lifted, we were told you cannot wear a mask. You cannot wear gloves to handle cash. You cannot do anything that would make a customer feel offended. Well, what about me? You know, I just, there's not time, I'm telling you right now, there's not time during a lunch rush to, at a restaurant to wash my hands, to walk away from my job and wash my hands after every single transaction that I touch cash. We're not allowed to have sanitizer on the counter. That's insulting. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And in addition to just the, the extremely poor pay, the extremely vicious hours, and any day that I did have off, my staff were calling me. Um, I just, I never had time off. Never, 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 never. And, um, oh my God, I could just go on and on and on and on. They, um, after COVID, it was poor me about the company. You know, they couldn't afford to give us our bonuses anymore. We used to have uh, monthly meetings with the president where we would be bonus eligible every month. And if we were smashing our goals, we would get an extra bonus every month. They took that from us. Oh, we're not able to do our one-on-ones now just because of COVID. What? Then they took our anniversary dinners, our, our summer retreats. We used to, um, once a year in August, they would take all the managers to a five-star resort and just spoil us. Everything was free for the weekend. And I mean, you could take your family that would was would be why I signed up and, and started working for this this job being a manager because they did treat us right. Um, you know they had cameras in the place, never for protection or for theft, but they would call me in the middle of lunch rush to ask me, make me stop. You know I'm sweating. It's we're slammed. We're constantly understaffed because I had to run labor at like 19 percent, which is insane. If you've ever done anything in a restaurant, 19 percent is insane. Okay. Um, Anyway, I stop in the middle of sweating and being slammed at the restaurant to answer the phone, to hear them say, why does your grill guy have his hat on backwards? That's what they were using the cameras for, to spy and snoop. Anyway, this is how this is looking. Look, I didn't have to file or anything. The application was so easy, so perfect that those, look how good those nails look. That is application only, you guys. Two beads, just bam. And I said earlier, you saw that I... (laughs) only had to file. I guess I hadn't done the filing yet. So here it is. And these files are also some baddies. I love the shape. I currently don't have or use any files with this curved shape. I never bought any because I just wasn't sure if I would like it. Well, I like it. And these are good files. Um, I showed you just a second ago how sturdy they are and how they don't have too much bend to them, which is so annoying. I don't know if that's, if you guys have encountered that, you get a file and you go to start going to town on it. It's, it. You can't get any pressure with it because it's flimsy. I like a really sturdy file. So this, this one nailed it really, really nice. And I hope you guys know, I haven't said this before, or maybe I have, I don't know. But I hope you guys know any review on my channel, whether I'm a brand ambassador or not, will be honest. So I did truly like everything that, that came in her package. I still have to check out why everything was sticking to my brush. If it was the monomer, the temperature in my room, I really don't know why, but it was not the acrylics because as you saw, it happened with the clear and the not polish. So um, it definitely wasn't the acrylics. These acrylics are bomb. And I did like, like I said, the smell and performance of the monomer, the, the setting. So I'm going to use her monomer with some other products over time and let you guys know what I think about it. But for now, um, I was using her monomer when I did those nails on that practice hand. And you saw how smashingly smooth that went. So besides it sticking to my brush, and I still don't know why that is, um, I have nothing bad to say whatsoever. These are, I will, if she doesn't send me more products, I will spend money when her colored acrylics come out for sure. And I might try some more of her covers too. Look at that. Application only, gorgeous. I'm going to top coat here with... I believe this is a McCart top coat. I mentioned before, I really only use Glosset if I'm just trying to show my favorite products to you guys or doing a client. If I'm just doing a set, I'm gonna pop off. I'm just gonna use just a regular. 
So here's how they came out. That nude, look how it's truly nude it is. It blends beautifully, it matches my skin tone. It made this set look gorgeous. And here's one more time, 876 Nails hand it to her. She did a great job with these products. Here's some looking in the light with a little bling charm. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.